Well, hi guys. Okay. Today is Wednesday. We're at my mom's house. So we've got Marley with us. She's in the back, chilling. The seat's down. And I guess now we're gonna go ahead for lunch because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. It's already two o'clock, so. I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. No energy. I need some fuel. Have you guys noticed that I'm constantly wearing this hat? Like, I do not have time to do my hair. Either the hat or the wig. But I only wore the wig to the event. <laughs> Just because I figured I can't wear a hat, right? But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking of doing some twists, like some uh, kinky twists or Senegalese twists. And I'm debating if I should do them myself, which I also don't have time for, or <laughs> go and get them done. I don't know. I'm still debating. We'll see. So I want them something like this. This is uh, my girl, Duchess Gabrielle. But her Instagram is Tribe of Chic, and she just got some twists done, and I think they look really pretty. So I want them something like that. Okay guys, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> so we went to my mom's house, and then on our way home, we dropped off the car at the uh, auto mechanic shop because uh, we were having some problems with the brakes. Anyway, so we left the car there, so we walked from the mechanic shop home, and as we were walking home, we passed by a seagull that was just... Sitting on the ground. Sitting on the ground, like frozen or injured or we're something. We're not sure, but it's probably minus 10, 15, something like that outside, so... Yeah, it's really cold, and the thing about it is we walked right by it, even with the dog, and it didn't move, so obviously it's, um... Broken. Something's going on there, so... The animal whisperer to the rescue is got a blanket in tow and a pair of scissors. I'm not sure which blanket. <laughs> Those are the tools that we are going to do. We get a new pet. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rescue the bird. Rescue the bird. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Bring it into the underground parking. No, we're going to take upstairs. We're not bringing it into the apartment. We're Seriously, not. a seagull. Think about it. It's going to be in a box. It's going to be in a no, blanket. It's not going to do anything. It's coming upstairs. Anyways, we looked up online um, on some animal rescue website like tips on how to rescue an injured bird and it said to throw a blanket or a towel over it because birds tend not to move if they can't see and then put it into a box with air holes and then call them so okay. that is the plan dun, 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 dun. but i don't want it in the house especially with marley anyways we're in underground parking right now you guys um, our garbage room is down here, so we're gonna go see if we can find a cardboard box. Um, I use the box, so. Uh, well, there's some boxes in there. Alright. Okay, here we go, you guys. We've got our makeshift box made out of two boxes. We switched from a blanket to a towel. Now we're going to go and see if the bird is still there. Hey, buddy. Oh. I know you're scared, okay. but we mean you know. She, he's bigger than I thought. Yeah, he's bigger than I remember. Oh boy. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, he's okay. He got up. Yeah, he can walk. So why were you just sitting there in the cold, bud? His wing is broken. Oh, he can't fly. I don't know if it's broken, but he can't fly. He's just sitting down. I, I mean, he's not. I don't know. I think we should leave. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you see when he tried to open his wing? It doesn't open. Yeah, it doesn't open. But, I mean, he can walk. But, he's basically prey for anybody that even walks by. He can't even get somewhere warm. It's fucking freezing. So, I Well, that was a fail. <laughs> um, the seagull, like, you could tell one of his wings doesn't work or is frozen or something. So, it can walk around. Like, it walks pretty fast, but it just can't fly off. So... Um, I don't know, I just was really nervous about bringing that thing inside and I didn't really want the boy to capture it so we just left the box out there with the 
towel so it could like go inside the box we put a trail of bread le leading up to the box so if it wants to go in there and sleep i don't know look who's back it's chris she's done she got her calipers done and she got an oil change too figured might as well while we had it here we just came back to pick it up this morning to pick her up and um, I missed her. I had to walk here to the mechanic shop. And I thought I was going to die. Like, I just, I can't with the walking anymore. I'm a driver for sure. <sighs> and it's cold out there. I'm wearing my Rasta hat. Because it matches my... Let's see if I can show you guys. My Yes Lioness shirt that says lion love in red gold and green red gold and green so yeah this shirt actually i purchased years ago i love it one of my favorite purchases from her and i've got some goodies from her to do a giveaway as well because they didn't make it in time for the event but yeah we're just here i'm waiting for the boy to settle up the bill i've got marley in the back and then we're going to head to uh, my mom's house, package up some wigs, and hit up the courier. Just got home, and I stopped at the P.O. box, and look, I got another package that did not arrive in time for the event, but lucky for you guys, you'll now have a chance at these goodies. This package is from... Christian Ray Artisan Candles and they're handmade soy candles that are highly fragranced. They smell really, really good. So I've got quite a few of them. So we've got two fragrances. We have Egyptian Amber and Pineapple and Orchid, which sounds amazing. Oh, the Egyptian Amber smells really good. It smells like... It smells kind of like um, light cologne. So this is nice if you don't like really fruity or too feminine sense like it's a little bit more deep and masculine and warm and we've got pineapple orchid which smells exactly as it sounds pineapples and orchids it's nice it's a nice combo really refreshing fresh I like that so yeah thank you so much to Christian Ray artisan candles and you guys can check them out at christianraycandles.com. So they are all natural, eco-friendly, hand-poured, and highly fragranced soy candles that are black-owned. Hashtag support a sister. How do you work this thing? It's like old people, you know what they do? Turn it on. How do you work this thing? Is this on? Hi guys, today is Friday, it's the weekend, I'm happy about that even though I don't really have any plans, but plans find me. The plan is to sit in line for this car wash. Yeah, we're waiting for a car, a car wash right now because the car is white and it's we bought it black. That's how much salt and I don't know, you know what happens in the winter, right? We bought the ticket. But then we left, and then we came back, and there's like a 10 car lineup, maybe more, one, two, three. I'll show you how many cars are in front of us. And each car wash takes like 10 minutes, well, five. It's not even a good car wash. So yeah, we'll probably be sitting here for at least 10 minutes. I'm not wearing makeup, you guys. I would say 20 Excuse minutes. Excuse my face. I know, I look terrible. It's okay, it's not a makeup channel. Everyday life, that's what it's about. I didn't do up myself today. You never do up yourself. It's Tony's birthday in like two weeks. Yeah, it's coming up. March 8th. March 8th is my birthday. I haven't really planned anything, so if anybody has any ideas, they want to come down, maybe do a big meetup on her birthday, I'll be up for that. Yeah. So yeah, big 3-5. I know. We should lie about your age. Big 3-0. I'm 35, you guys. I'm gonna be 35 in two weeks. All the younger subscribers are gonna just are gonna unsubscribe. unsubscribe right now when they find that out. So don't tell them that. I'm 28. I just had a rough Somebody life. was actually asking me actually in the last video. They left a comment asking how old. They're curious to know how old we were, but 
they're not going to do anything with the information. So they weren't sure. So why do you need rude. to know? That's what she said. She's like, you know what? I'm just asking for no reason. So it doesn't matter. Like she actually said that mm. in the comments. So I thought that was a cool comment. But yes, I'm turning 35 on March 8th. And the boy is turning 40 on April 24th. Ooh, that thing's sick. So yeah, guys, we're old. Old people, man. Oh, man. 40. The big four. Oh, are That's you scared? Four decades. 40. I can't believe I have a 40 year old. Um, I need to get tea tree oil because QO chemist told me that I should get tea tree oil for my pimples. You guys always know I complain about a pimple once a month. So uh, I have a thing too that I want to say. Uh, stop giving her ideas because it's costing money. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to get tea tree Because it'll oil. be like, you know, Sahara 72 from Wisconsin is going to be like, oh, Tony. Uh, you don't like the uh, the way your foot is shaped? Here, try this thing for eight hundred ninety nine dollars, and then she'll go get it. That's stupid. Well, don't. Said. Yeah. Well, and don't. I want to get Afigee because I feel like I want to do a protein treatment. Somebody else probably mentioned no, that too. Hey, they you should didn't. get some Afigees. <laughs> it's not plural. Mm. Um, because I want to braid up my hair next week. I'm sure you guys are tired of looking at the hat. The boy is probably tired of looking at me in this ridiculous hat. It's not ridiculous. I like the hat. You but assume I've been looking at you. Happy Friday. I don't know when you're gonna put this up. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday, just in case. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, but they exactly they could watch it any day. Just That's what I'm giving you. I'm gonna do the the whole okay. run of days. This way you could put it up any day. Just say happy day. Happy Thursday. Oh happy day. Happy Friday. Oh happy day. Oh happy day. When do you eligible full time students can now get thirty percent. Finally, we're entering the car wash. We waited for so long, like 20 minutes at least. I guess everybody had the same idea today as us. I think it's spraying the other thing. Slowly, slowly. Mm. Oh, see that? Reaction time? Yeah. All right, this is when Marley starts to freak out, you guys. Uh oh. Oh, hiding already. <laughs> yeah, you hide down there, bud. Honey, what's happening? No, look. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a scaredy cat. Come here, up here. Come here. You can't escape it, Marley. <laughs> Take it. Take it like a dog. Well, I'm by myself, as you can see. I dropped the boy off at home, and now I'm at Walmart. I found some tea tree oil. I also picked up some aloe vera juice because I'm going to be making my liquid black soap again, and I want to play around with the formula a bit. And then I picked up some Buckley's because the boy's got a sore throat, so. Finished at Walmart. I got... Just some household stuff like air freshener, toilet paper. And then I got um, aloe vera juice because I want to play with my black soap formulation. I got Q-tips and oh, I got tea tree oil from, oh, you guys can't even see me. I got tea tree oil from the pharmacy section. So I'm just leaving Walmart now. I just want to show you guys that right beside Walmart, drive up a little bit more is Sally's Beauty Supply Store. It would be very convenient for me to pop in there and get my affigy and whatever else other hair stuff I need but I'm not going to. I'm going to drive like 10 minutes to the black owned beauty supply store because it's not always about what's convenient and um, the reason why I like to show you guys this is just to encourage you to keep it going, you know? You're not alone. We're doing this together. So I know sometimes it feels like, oh, you know, you can't really make a difference, but honestly, you can. And the more of us that think that way, the bigger of an impact we can make. So I just want to encourage you guys to keep going, keep going out of your way to support each other, even when it's less convenient. The 
corner of Midland and Eglinton. It's so cold out here, you guys. And this is the beauty supply store I was telling you guys about. It's called Beauty Supply Superstore. So here we go. Um, I found the Apogee products right here. And I think I'm gonna pick up this. Apogee Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor. I was gonna get this two step treatment, but I think this one's just a lot easier, so I'm gonna go with this. I wanted to get a, some sort of moisturizing spray too, since my hair is gonna be in braids, but. Um, you know the one I really wanted to try is by Shea Moisture, the biotin thickening something, yucca, baobab, but they don't have it. They only have the coconut and hibiscus one, so I didn't really want that one. Let's take a look around. I've been home for a while, but I just figured I'd show you guys what I got. So I did end up getting the Afiji two minute reconstructor it's the keratin one um it says it adds strength and softness in one step i have used it before it's okay so pick that up because i don't really have anything that's like a hard protein treatment and then i picked up this because i wanted something you know to spray on my um hair and scalp while it's braided up to moisturize it and i found this by fantasia ic it's called hair strengthener treatment um, it says it repairs breakage on chemically treated and heat damaged hair, deep penetrating complex repairs, strengthens, and shines, and it's alcohol free. The first six ingredients include water, uh, polyquatmium 11, vitamins B1, B5, niacin, and biotin. So pretty good stuff in the top six. So I thought I'd try this keep my braids moisturized while or keep my hair moisturized while they're in braids I also got another one of these LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal I decided to get a different color just to try it out um, usually I use fawn under my eyes this one is a shade darker in toffee the only reason why I'm unsure about this is because it's got more of a reddish pink undertone and I'm more yellow so we'll see how this works and then I also got two pencils by Nika K. One in a blue and one in dark brown I'm going to use on my eyebrows. And she gave me this little sample of a heat protectant. Because I mentioned I was going to be blow drying my hair um, in preparation for braids. This is also by Fantasia IC. It's called the Hair Polisher Heat Protectant. And it says it straightens, shines, and protects. Ideal for use with ceramic, flat irons, and heat styling tools. And she said you only need a tiny amount, very, very little. So this sample should last me a few blow dries. Now for a break. 